voice is breath, exhaled air. When I go into my little crunched up man or woman, he looks like he's in the brace position actually, I cut off the airwaves. And you know, I've been telling off chief executives for the last few weeks, because I'm over exaggerating, but they're all doing their calls like this. And they say to me, I don't know why my voice is so tired at the end of the day. It's because you're cutting off, as Sarah has said, the airwaves. So Deborah, absolutely stand to take difficult calls. First thing I said to him, get your feet grounded, stand up. And then next thing, project your voice to the back of the room. So the other mistake we make is that we're staring at the camera and we project our voice to there. And can you hear that brings my energy down? It makes me a bit breathy. Whereas if I stand up and if I think of sending my voice out the window, I can see the Solent out there, which is quite nice, it's quite rough out there today, but you can find anything in the distance to send your voice to and instantly you will take up more space. You will own the Zoom. We can own the Zoom by owning our own room. It rhymes, I love it. So ground your feet, stand up straight, get a standing desk if you can. If not, I've bought a laptop stand off, you know, online retailer. And the final thing to say is use your hands. I know, and David was saying this as well yesterday and I thought that's good, we're on the same track here. There's a piece of research that was in the Daily Mail, I know, three weeks ago that said that when we use our hands to gesture, that ups are the power of our voice because it connects us more to the rib cage and the diaphragms. So just simply, when you're speaking, stand up, use your hands. You will sound so much more connected and powerful. You will feel more confident.